Today's customers have an increased awareness and commitment to quality and service. This places new demands on dealership technicians who are trying to achieve a high level of customer satisfaction. To assist the technicians in meeting this demand for service excellence, the Ford Parts and Service Division has introduced the Service Technician Specialty Training, STST, program. While developing this improved approach to service training, the technical training staff consulted with the training subcommittee of the National Service Managers Advisory Committee, as well as the District Service Engineers Advisory Committee. The result is a training program that will make available to Ford and Lincoln Mercury technicians the information and skills necessary to fix it right the first time. A full menu of new courses are being developed to fully train technicians in these specialty areas. Engine performance, engine repair, suspension and steering, electrical systems, climate control, manual transmission and drivetrain, automatic transmission and drivetrain, brakes, and pre-delivery. Training schedules provided by your district office will announce when courses relating to these specialties will be offered. Throughout its history, Ford Motor Company has continued to shake the industry with innovations in automotive engineering and design. And in 1991, the Ford tradition of continuous improvement in both its products and service continues. New ideas. Better ideas. The expertise to build them into the vehicles it produces and the knowledge it takes to keep those cars and trucks on the road. Those are the fundamentals behind Ford leadership, from the factory to the service department. And that's the basis for this presentation, leadership in customer service satisfaction through an up-to-the-minute awareness of the features built into the vehicles you care for. Welcome to Ford Motor Company's Dearborn Test Facility and the 1991 Long Lead Press Conference where members of the automotive press from around the country and around the world are assembled to review the latest engineering and design features built into the new Ford lineup for 1991. Here, noted automotive authorities take an inside look at the latest in powertrain, chassis, suspension, and electronics improvements. And get behind the wheel to experience exactly what those product improvements mean in terms of performance, handling, safety, and passenger comfort. It's through this thorough review that the press will base its initial impressions of the new Ford lineup and share them with the car buying public. And it's also the backdrop to your first look at what product innovations and improvements for 1991 will mean in terms of the overall performance, dependability, and serviceability on the new models. Of course, you're probably aware that this long lead press conference is just the tip of the iceberg. Right now, let's run through the more notable service highlights you'll be seeing from Ford for 1991. Beginning with a symbol of quality and luxury, the Crown Victoria. The Crown Victoria for 1991 has remained basically a carryover model from 1990 with minor changes. Thunderbird for 1991 has received some notable changes in the engine compartment. Beginning with improvements to the 3.8 liter V6, the 3.8 features new pistons and cylinder heads this year, along with the updated sequential electronic fuel injection system for more precise fuel delivery and control. Also new for 91, the 5-liter V8 becomes an option on models equipped with automatic overdrive transmissions. It's essentially the same engine found in the Crown Victoria, with the exception of modifications to the intake and exhaust systems. The intake manifold on this engine has been redesigned specifically for the Thunderbird application for a new engine option that will be welcomed by drivers who prefer traditional V8 power under the hood. Taurus for 1991 features important changes in the powertrain department. 
Taurus models with automatic transaxles will feature the new AXODE electronic automatic overdrive transaxles. Unlike the AXOD system it replaces, the AXODE system relies solely on electronics to control the shifting sequence. The AXODE utilizes a new valve body with three electronic shift solenoids, but has no governor assembly as in the AXOD. The AXODE is significantly different from earlier transaxles, so it is important to review the upcoming video and training materials devoted exclusively to the AXODE. The Taurus 2.5 liter engine features electronic multi-port fuel injection for the first time, making SEFI a standard feature on all available Taurus engines. And finally, the 3 liter engine is equipped with sequential electronic fuel injection and mass airflow sensor for smoother performance. Mustang continues its evolution with the addition of a new engine. A 2.3 liter dual plug engine becomes standard for 91. Similar to the 2.3 liter found in the Ranger truck line, the 2.3 liter engine found on the Mustang has been modified to include the use of a mass airflow sensor in the fuel injection system to control fuel delivery on the basis of actual air temperature and flow into the engine compartment. The new 2.3 also features DIS, Ford's distributorless ignition system. And unlike its truck engine counterpart, the new Mustang 2.3 features electro drive cooling eliminating the engine-driven fan. Probe for 1991 has received subtle changes for improved serviceability. On models equipped with power seats, the seat track and motor are now serviceable as separate units. This new design replaces one which required replacement of both the motor and track if either were defective. Tempo for 1991 will remain essentially unchanged in the service feature area. And since its redesign and release earlier this year, the 1991 Escort will remain unchanged as it faces its first full year on the market. Refer to the Escort New Model Features video released earlier this year for complete details on this competitive new model. Festiva also will remain unchanged, remaining an economy leader for entry-level buyers. While refinements and improvements in Ford's passenger car lineup are numerous, it may be the Ford light trucks that stand out this fall, with several important changes to both full-size and compact models. First and foremost, F-Series trucks, as well as the Bronco, will receive a new E4OD electronic four-speed automatic overdrive transmission for 1991. This E4OD is not just a heavy-duty version of a passenger car transmission. It's a clean slate transmission, designed and developed exclusively for truck applications. Additionally, automatic transmissions are standard on F-Series trucks this year, while the manual transmission will be available as an option. F-Series four-wheel drive trucks will now be equipped with automatic locking hubs as standard equipment for convenient shift-on-the-fly capability. And topping off improvements to the F-Series trucks this year is optional touch-drive electric shift on trucks equipped with the 5-liter V8 engine and E4OD transmission. While the transfer case remains essentially the same with the touch drive option, transfer case controls differ significantly. Ranger 4x2 models for 1991 will feature a 3 liter V6 engine as an option. The 3 liter, which also powers Aerostar, will replace the 2.9 liter V6 on Ranger models. Aerostar models too will be refined for 91, with the addition of a door ajar warning light on models equipped with dual rear doors and with an added memory lock feature on sliding doors equipped with power locks. The 1991 Explorer, released earlier this year, is a new model for Ford and features a standard 4-liter V6 engine derived from the 2.9-liter V6. The 4-liter has been redesigned to include a larger bore and stroke, as well as many other improvements. Look for the Explorer New Model Service Features video released earlier this year for complete details on this sporty model. The range of Ford cars and trucks is growing to match the needs of demanding buyers. New concepts in engine design and application, and a steady move toward more sophisticated electronic control of more and more vehicle systems and functions. These are the prime trends in vehicle engineering for the 90s. And keeping up with these new systems is the priority for top service professionals in the 90s. 
That's why more than ever before, the training programs provided by Ford are not only helpful, but vital to success in the service department. And why Ford Parts and Service Division puts top priority on technical training so that Ford service technicians have access to training that's equally as sophisticated as the products they service. As you're gearing up for the new model year, you're invited to take advantage of all the training options Ford has to offer. In addition to upcoming new model programs, you can obtain the hands-on district training that has been and will continue to be offered on the 1991 Explorer and Escort. Check with your district for training schedules on those subjects. Additional training materials have been developed for in-dealership use. Early 1991 new model training is available at district training centers covering the early release vehicles Escort, Tracer, Capri, and Explorer. The upcoming new model materials covering Ford new model service features, Lincoln Mercury new model service features, 4.6 liter modular engine unique features and service information, AXODE automatic transaxle theory and diagnosis, steering brakes chassis service will be sent to your dealership in August at no charge. So watch for release dates in upcoming messages on OASIS and in TSBs. Contact your district office for any further information regarding new model training. Keeping on top of these training programs will keep you on top of new service situations before they occur. In recent years, Ford vehicles have gone from single barrel carburetors and crank starting to mastering onboard computers. That's what growth is all about. And that's what will make Ford service technicians leaders in keeping the best built vehicles in the best possible condition. It means outstanding customer satisfaction in the years to come.